Hey y'all, welcome to Doodles with Dallin. We got some great stuff to show you tonight. So we're going to do a, um, a tree kind of uh, in a forested area. Um, a lot of people enjoy these. You can find, you know, some of them at Joy and Fabrics or stuff like that. Just nice doodles, just nice doodles. Do it yourself, make it your own. <clears throat> so easy enough, we're going to start with the trunk of the tree. So it's nice to start down at the root system, honestly. Just a nice solid root system. Like like a good old oak. Start with a branch here. Maybe yeah. another branch continuing up this way. A branch here. Going around a branch here. You know, just really getting that tree kinda what you want it to look like, you know, make it your own. You know, you're seeing those big old knobby roots. You know, you trip, you stub your toe on them. I hate those things. Alright, just get a little, little bit of that. You know, some trees have some low hanging fruit. Just little ones, little pears. You know, whoop, there you go. There's one for you too, buddy. You know? You know, the trees where I grew up had these real. Little knobby ends to them. Mom used to call them monkey trees. I don't know where she came up with that. But, uh, you know, it always stuck. Monkey trees. Giggle. <laughs> so, really, make sure, you know, the tree looks real authentic and natural. I like to put the the leaves hanging, you know, a little bit off the tree. Not, not, not touching, you know, because realistically they would be touching, but just kind of off enough. Next, I'm going to put a river in. You know, it's always nice to have a tree scenic by, you know, a river. We'll do a little you know, grass doodles right here, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And the triver, the the triver, goof me. You know, the river will kind of like deposit right here, kind of like behind this stone. Um, I really just make that stone look just as real as possible. I mean, but then again, these are doodles, so you just do it yourself. Make it your own, you know? Just, it, really just make it what you want it to be. And you want to make sure that big old river's just coming on in. Just coming on in. So, you got this river in it. It looks pretty good. We'll put some little currents going through it. So we'll show a little motion in it. Looking pretty nice, huh? That's a river. Uh, in the background, we've got some foothills. Just like that. Yeah, different size foothills. Just whatever you want, make it your own. Sounds like our cameraman Todd's got a little cell phone call on there. It's okay. You know, we're not paying him to talk, but we are paying him to film, but I guess he feels a little bit different. I like to put some trees in the background and some conifers. Just doing what they do. Growing. Supplying shade. Just real, real gentleman trees, I like to call them. Real kind. We'll do some shrubs right here. Some shrubs. Start with a little bit of an underneath. Oh, that's looking good. I don't know if you guys can see it, huh? Just starting a shrub or bush kind of off. Off just a little bit. Just a little bit kind of like that. Just in the, you know, in the corner. You don't have to put your shrubs or your bushes just in the foreground. Just like that. Maybe give them a little top. It's a, it's a happy shrub. A little confused, maybe, of what she's doing here. A little upset that, you know. 
someone didn't answer the phone when they called or whatever. Just going on. Just going on about their day. So that's about it. Um, unless you guys want to see some clouds. Yeah. You, can, you can do some clouds. Um, I usually like to start with a big cloud. It's like a starter cloud. Um, you know, just so you all get an idea of where, you know, where the clouds are coming from. So this, this starter cloud is right here. And, you know, just really start with those clouds, just real. It's a stormy night to come in, that's for sure. You know. Uh-oh, upside down rain, Goofy, we're in Doodle Town, so don't worry about it. Hmm. It's looking pretty good, huh, guys? So, that's all I'm probably going to do today. A little speckles. Speckles make everything look realistic. So, yeah. And this is how you draw a tree. This has been Doodlin' with Dallin. See you next week.